when you drive down Windsor Road and you see the huge residential developments occurring right on our doorstep, what do you think? You may be a young family seeking to get your toehold into the market so you can live comfortably close to your work, raise a family and invest in your future. If so, all power to you. I have been in your shoes. Or you might lament the destruction of the pleasant vistas of semi-rural life and mourn the replacement of fertile agricultural lands with ant nests of poorly planned developments where the houses are so close to each other their eaves are almost touching. If you're a business, you might see this purely in terms of economic opportunity. And if you're a commuter, you might curse generations of town planners or mandarins of migration policy for bequeathing you years of congestion and frustration. The simple fact is that you're all right. These are all sides of the same coin. The northwest growth sector stretches from Quakers Hill and Marsden Park up to the eastern side of Moralia. But crucially, the part of the growth sector that has jumped the boundary and will be in our council area are the so-called vineyard release areas, divided into stage one and stage two. These are the parts of Sydney's growth that have been laid at our doorstep. And if you're inclined to look at the way that Sydney's growth has been handled elsewhere and conclude that it's been stuffed up, then I believe that we have a responsibility to do it better here in our own turf. In my next video, I'll tell you about how Hawkesbury Council's efforts to do just that are being thwarted by state planning officials and what we're trying to do about it.